Hello, I'm Rock Steel from Liberty Multigaming Community. Today I'm going to go over post number 10, which is response to a uh, bank robbery with a SWAT team available. Basically, if you've watched the video for post number 9, you know how to contain a building. I'll go over that rather quickly here. To start off, as I've marked the, uh, the map here, you have... Uh, four sides of the building. You have uh, the one side, which is the front. The two side is the left side, looking at the front. The back side is side three. The right side is side four. Refer to the uh, corners where two and three come together as the rear five. And the corners where four and one come together as the front five. Okay. So we have the uh, I have the streets, the names of the streets marked on the map here. Wilmington to the east, El Segundo to the north, Central to the west, and Rosecrans is to the south. Okay. All right. When you're responding, there's a lot of different things that need to be uh, considered, and a lot of things need to be done in the first couple of minutes once the bank is robbed. With the SWAT team available, follow these steps the best you can. As soon as the bank alarm sounds, cops need to announce to civilians that the bank is a crime scene and force civilians to stay away from the area. This needs to be done both in global text and global voice chat. Any civilians in the immediate area to the bank as in within a hundred meters on all sides are upon the arrival of the police subject to being stopped, restrained, and questioned. This is to make sure we don't have a uh, suspect pretending to be uh, a customer of the bank running out with his gun hidden or he puts his gun down, stashes his gun and takes off and pretends to be innocent. Okay. Any vehicle within 100 meters should be treated as a possible getaway vehicle. It should be searched and or impounded if needed. All vehicles found not to be possible getaway cars shall be recovered by the civilian owner at the expense of the police. Again here, one, the very second the bank is robbed, any member of the police department shall declare the bank unsafe and a crime scene. All civs should be warned on global text and global voice of the situation in order to stay away from the bank. Some servers have global turned off. If this is the situation, then a rule will be likely be in place that automatically declares the bank unsafe for civs and to stay out of the area. 1A. Once the bank is robbed, units with the least elapsed time of arrival should quickly respond to the bank with only their vehicle light bars on. All officers assigned to respond will respond to the bank with their sirens turned off. If an officer responds to the bank with his siren turned on, he is telling the bank robber that the police are en route and from what direction they're approaching from. The first unit will need to get into a position where the front of the bank and at least one other side of the bank is in view. It is important that the officer does not drive past the bank in view of the gunman inside. The first unit on scene is the on-scene commander until a supervisor replaces the officer assigned or assigns another officer to take over. The second officer closest to the bank will respond to the rear if the entry if an entry is available for use for possible getaway route. Both officers shall position themselves so that between the two of them all four sides of the building are in view from their position. Number two, SWAT needs to be notified. A supervisor, an air unit, a K-9 officer should be requested to respond to the scene as soon as possible. Number three, additional officers so block off additional streets, roads, and alleyways if possible. The focus of the bank 
being surrounded is keeping the bank robbers contained and innocent civilians out of the area. Number four, when SWAT arrives, the on-scene commander will quickly brief the SWAT team officer in charge with the descriptions of the suspects seen in the area, any weapons they're using, and locations of additional police officers in the area of the bank. Number five, SWAT will coordinate with the on-scene commander as to what the plan of action will be when SWAT will take action. When SWAT arrives, all officers shall hold their current locations to prevent crossfire situations with SWAT team members. This is what you'd want to consider. Um, simple, common sense, and uh, keeps everybody safe as possible if they're all thinking and communicating. So, additionally, the two officers, one would come to the front five, park a car right about here so that he can see the four side and the one side. The four side is the uh, where the the bay door is that flips up like a garage. It also has a door you can walk through, and there's a vehicle stopper there to keep vehicles away from the uh, bay door. The uh, front door on the building is uh, it's at the corner where one and two would come together, but it's got stairways, a small set of steps that leads down from uh, inside the bank on the one and two side which is a small area. In the rear, on side three, there's a little hatch door that swings out from the bank, and it's, there's a hatch door inside the bank that gunmen would slip down inside of and try to slip out the back of the bank. So that pretty much is uh, a response of patrol officers. Uh, of course, if you're at the bank and you're fired at, you have an obligation to fire back and if you see a suspect, give them an order to put the guns down and come out of the bank. The first person on scene should be coordinating uh, any communication. If it's initiated by the person inside, communicate with them. Try to get them to come out quietly and without their weapons so that they can be uh, dealt with by the police. Be restrained and searched thoroughly and put into a police car. The bank would still need to be searched regardless. Alright, so that is uh, responding to the bank with a SWAT team available.